Hi everyone on YouTube, Shazan here, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, uh, thank you for watching my video and for hopefully liking and subscribing. I am a blind, solitary pagan uh, who essentially shares her experiences from a blindness perspective and I also talk a little bit about chronic illness and blindness in between. Uh, in addition, I um, am a practicing witch so I will talk about witchcraft and Wicca and all these other various aspects of things. So today I'm talking about my Imlok altar. Um, I used what I had available to me making this altar so I wanted to share that with you today and um, for those of you who cannot see or are visually impaired um, there is going to be a photograph of my altar and as I go through the altar I will do my best to describe it as much as possible. So we will get started and in the meantime of describing the altar I will also be talking about how we'll be celebrating and why I chose some of the items. So I'm currently at my altar. I started with a white cloth for this altar because I'm going to be doing a lot of purification and protection work for Imbolc and uh, I'm also doing some cleansing. So uh, from left to right I've got this bag full of stones that you might have seen. Um, I've got my amethyst for meditation. And I've got a variety of crystals. Let me pull this up a little bit. Uh, a variety of crystals on the altar. Um, I have a lot of quartz, so I used quartz quite a bit. I used uh, quartz for all kinds of different aspects of my altar. I used it for, um, you know, amplification, and also uh, one of them is programmed for cleansing and I also have some obsidian but you can't really see it very well. Um, I have another amethyst because uh, this amethyst helps me uh, connect spiritually which is something I'm also working on. Uh, this is just a candle I have for offerings in this bowl with the flowers. Um, this is my little section that I represent for earth on my altar so I have um, some adventuring and a few other pieces. I think this is a carnelian piece that I just picked up. Um, I also have a really nice bell over here. And then, of course, the cauldron. And then, I'm sorry for all the shifting. And I also have this candle that I'm using for cleansing. Um, so since I'm focusing on cleansing and purification a lot, for Imbolc, I felt it was important to represent that, and I know uh, the goddess Brage or Bridget is commonly celebrated on Imbolc. Um, I am going to honor her in some way. Um, I know I plan to light a lot of candles on Imbolc. I'm celebrating on Monday night after sunset, which is from what I understand traditionally how everybody has done it, and I'm looking forward to that and just really enjoying the uh, aspects of returning spring and returning light because here it does feel like winter even though I'm in an area where winter isn't very is very very mild compared to the rest of uh, the US and other places um, so those are just some of the ways I'm doing my celebration of Imbolc um, I talk more about that in the blog below so if you've liked this video so far please like and subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So, hope you all are well. Many blessings, everyone. <laughs> 